Hey y'all, we're back. It's me, I'm Ian, the Dragonborn Bard, and you're watching Dragonborn Industries. Today, we're gonna be opening up another one of these Icewind Dale booster bricks. We've been down to Happy Piranha in Truro. They were able to order this in for us, which is awesome. It's not something they usually stock as a brick, this particular one, but they were happy to get it in for us. And here it is. So we're going completely fresh, fully still sealed up there in the cellophane. We're gonna open up each one and hopefully finish the set Probably not today though, unfortunately. The ones I need, I only need 10 more to complete the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden set, uh, and most of them are rares, unfortunately. So the main ones we're looking for are the Tringer with the Icicle Spear. We're looking for the three NPCs, which is uh, Nas Lantamir, Vilain uh, Harple, and Avarice. We're also looking for Tekulele and the Tomb Tapper and the Brittle Maiden and Winter's Room, the other two forms of Aureal, as I already have the Cold Crone. So I'll just get straight into it and we'll open this all up. Again. What I forgot to mention is I also need the Frost Giants. So that, straight away, is a winner. We are looking at a Frost Giant skeleton there. Super stoked. Also needed one of those, so that is super cool. Loving that. So I expect the rest of these will probably be probably be quite common. Let's have a look. Ah, we've got the Arctic Fox. These are very cute. They also can double up as sled dogs and stuff. They're pretty cool. Next up, we seem to have one of the trappers or the hunters. These are the human hunters. Like that. This is one. And last but not least in here, we appear to have a Durgar. Good for the story, but also good for the mini horde. So that's the first box we have right there. I'm going to put it over there for now and we'll show you them all together later. I'll try and do a, a side by side or something like that so that we can see them all as they come out. Box number two of eight. What have we got in here? Ah, so an orca. This is quite a common, I think it's like my third or fourth orca at the moment. Very good for your druid wild shapes and also for any underwater encounters you may have. Let's get rid of some rubbish. We have one of my favorite minis because it's so pointless is the knuckle-headed trout. But I do like that mini. We have a Reghead Nomad. These are the nomads from Reghead Glacier, which you traverse to later on in the module. And we have another hunter here by the looks of it. So we've got the red one before. Now we have the Human Trapper, which is the green cloaked one. I like the trappers and the hunters because all of the NPCs and people that you meet throughout Icewind Dale all have the same sort of clothing on it. It's hard to tell who is who as you're navigating your way around 10 towns. So actually these make really great stand-in NPCs for many other things. Box three, we have the Snowy Owlbear as our large. Awesome addition to 5e. Oh, cute as hails. Ah, we have another Durgar. We have the Durgar Mind Master by the look of things. More cool minis. What else we got? Ah, so I'm pumped. We have one of the ones that I was super excited about and is my favorite NPC from this entire module. We have Avarice. Boom. So already worth it this set. I could stop there and be happy. She is just so cool. Another fellow worshiper of Asmodeus she is. Uh, Night Hag. So, those four there. 
super stoked that we got Avarice. That's amazing. Ah, relief. So the Frost Giant and Avarice alone there, that does it for me. So box number four. Let's see what we're going to get out of this one. So we have a Mammoth. These are good for, again, those Polymorphs. We've all seen Crit Roll. We've all seen series where people can polymorph your wizards and your clerics. And obviously, Liam O'Brien's impression of a mammoth is second to none after watching campaign two. We have a Schwinger, or Schwinger, however you want to pronounce that. This one with Snowball, so we don't have the Icicle one yet. But two out of the ten, leaving eight more that I need. Ah, we have a Cold Crone. Fortunately, I already have one of these. However, still a very cool mini. Very, very cool. Ah. Oh. I like all real. And we have a, what looks like a winter wolf. It's your wolf there. Very, very useful minis for any campaign that you're playing. We all face wolves at lower levels and they are good for those wilderness encounters all over our worlds. Faerun or homebrew. Right, next up, box number five. Ah, so this is the Winter Wolf, sorry, rather than the Standard Wolf. Let's take that out of there. You get the noise. That is your large Winter Wolf. These things are great. Uh, again, another really good mini to have for most encounters all over the world anywhere. Large wolves, dire wolves, things like that. We have a Kobold. You know them. You love them. They're cute. They're dragons. We've got another tiny one here. Ah, something else that I was after from the uncommons is these little squidlings. There is a small section of Icewind Dale where you meet some mind flares and there are these little squidlings in there. And it's always good to have some extra ones of those if that's one of the encounters that you end up running. We have the Yeti Tyke. That is a cute little mini for all of you who have your Yeti encounters during your trips through the frozen north. Box number six. Let's go. What have we got? Come on, eight more to get. So we have a deer. Oh dear. Other good ones that are great for your wild shaped boxes and for your wilderness encounters. Not the most overly useful one, but I do like the beast in this one. We have the Aurog Ranger. Another uncommon. Another small one in here. We have the, oh, very <laughs> wilted and melted looking Tringer. I will get the um, kettle on that one in a bit and I will steam that one back into a decent position. That's it. And we have a sled dog. Obviously traveling around 10 towns is hard to do on foot with all the different elevations and with the frozen area that you are in. It becomes hard and it's easier to do it via sled. So sled dogs and sleds are always welcome to come out of these. So box number seven, the penultimate box. So I don't think we're gonna get our um, full eight today. So we're just gonna have to buy another brick at some point. There is your Yeti. Super cool, super big, fan of that one. Aha! Twinger with Icicle Spear. We've got three out of the 10. So there is that one there. That one's an uncommon. It's not a rare, but I haven't had one yet. So very glad to have completed the Twingers. We are only a few away. So we have a Kobold Vampire Spawn. So if we end up with Verlaine, I will be very happy because she has some of those. We have another knuckle-headed trout. I'm gonna have to find an encounter to do with multiple knuckle-headed trouts. So that is that box just there. We have one more box to go. Reasonably weighty, not too, too much, but this is it. This is box number eight. So, Great if we got the two NPCs in here, but I doubt we're going to get two rares in a box. So we have, I can already see it, another Yeti. Yetis are great. They ha hover around in camps and in tribes, so having more than one or two of those is always great. We have 
more Kobold Vampire Spawn. These are really good, again, for the end of the module as you go inside Reged Glacier to... Well, I'm not going to give that bit away, but there are Kobold Vampire Spawn there en masse. We have our Goliath Barbarian. Another race that's quite prominent within the far north. However, we do have... We get this a lot with uh, Norse's minis and with Whiskers minis because it's soft plastic, but if you take a kettle to that, you can straighten it out with just some steam and some hot water, so that's not a problem at all. And last but not least, one of my favourite minis from the set, but not one of the last ones that we're after, but still very useful to me. This is a Gnome Ceramorph. This is when a Mind Flayer takes over a Gnome. The Gnome remains somewhat there, and you end up with one of these. So that's it. Super stoked that we got uh, Avarice in there and that we got the Frost Giant Skeleton. I mean, it's so cool. That's huge. It's an awesome mini. And yeah, I just think that that's a delight to have at the table. But for me, she is my favorite NPC from the entire module. And I'm just happy we got her. So a few more to go. But that's it for today's unboxing that's all eight bricks we'll have to do it again sometime because i really want to finish off getting those last ones but again thank you to happy piranha for ordering those in for me because yeah i just couldn't get them out anywhere else local by so thanks guys everyone go check out happy piranha on their website and go check them out if you live here in cornwall and hopefully we'll have some more unboxings for you again soon so thank you very much and we'll see you next time